<laughs> when military officials released three videos this spring of Navy pilots encountering UFOs in 2004 and 2015, it seemed out of this world. Well, the first, like, <laughs> it's rotating. But now the Pentagon's Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force is expected to start releasing more information about such encounters, prompting unusual questions for some elected leaders. Are we alone? <laughs> Florida Senator Marco Rubio, acting chair of the Senate Committee on Intelligence, says there are mysterious craft of unknown origin flying over U.S. military installations, and that requires action. All right, you alien not quite like what we saw in the hit movie Independence Day, but at least genuine investigations into what they are and where they are coming from. I would say that, frankly, that if it's something outside this planet, that might actually be better than the fact that we've seen some technological leap on behalf of the Chinese or the Russians or some other adversary that allows them to conduct this sort of activity. That's the real worry, that these UFOs might be advanced military airplanes, spaceships, or weapons capable of astonishing things, as a retired Navy pilot told CNN in 2017. As I got close to it, it rapidly accelerated to the south and disappeared in less than two seconds. The president has been told about such things. People are saying they're seeing UFOs. Do I believe it? Not particularly. Still, Virginia Senator Mark Warner was briefed on UFO reports last year, and despite all the conspiracy theories about Roswell, Area 51, and alien abductions, he says... One of the key takeaways I'd have is that the, um, uh, the military and others are taking this issue seriously, which I think in previous generations may not have been the case. For many years, government investigations into these close encounters were shrouded in secrecy. Now the curtain may be lifted a bit, but that still won't answer the basic questions. Just who is out there and what do they want?